morning everyone! Thanks for joining me today for an art technique called selfie portraits. So this is known in the art world as blind contour drawing. It's something that many art classes do to get you familiar with portraits and figure drawing. My name is Angelica Malucci and I am a social worker and fashion stylist. I combine my unique skill sets as a style coach, helping others explore identity, and heal wounds related to body image and self-esteem. My new video series covers various topics relating to mental health, self-care, and coping with life's challenges. We are not going to create a beautiful portrait today. We are actually going to create something that we're cool with trashing at the end of this video. So you don't need any artistic abilities, just something to draw with, draw on, and a mirror. Once you have your materials, I'll get us started. So, the way this works is you'll have your mirror set up so that you can see yourself clearly. You will set a timer for four minutes, and during that four minutes, you may not look down at your paper. You can only keep your eyes focused on the mirror. So it's really a practice in the art of looking. To discover something about ourselves that we might not have seen before, and to challenge ourselves to see things in a different way. So go ahead, set your timer for four minutes, and good luck. Once you have completed those four minutes, take a look what you have drawn. This is mine. My first reaction was, yikes. <laughs> I definitely had some comedic relief by looking at this. And what I noticed was I spent a lot more time on my hair than I did on any other part of my face, which is interesting. So I wonder if it's that I feel like my hair is really a defining character about who I am. I don't know. Feel free to read into it as much or as little as you would like, but notice your first reaction to it. What was the first thing that came up for you when you looked down at your paper? I'd also invite you to think about what are the things that are important to me that people cannot see? How can I share who I am to others without just simply it being about my appearance? And I wonder more about the art of looking. What can we discover when we are detached to the outcome? When we feel cool with just ripping it out and throwing it away. So. Does that provide more opportunities for creative freedom to be brave? So I am so glad that you joined me today for this exercise. I hope it was fun and I hope that you felt inspired knowing that you don't need artistic abilities to be creative or to get to know yourself. 